Hey guys, it's Eric, owner of Farpoint Farms, and today we're going to be doing a video that kind of uh, is a review and a description and then a demonstration of the Brindley Moldboard Plow. And this is uh, something you don't see too often on garden tractors, but it has a purpose and it has a few other uses that you might uh, not be aware of. So let's jump right in, okay? Uh, first of all, it's a pretty stout piece of machinery. Uh, it's thick steel all the way around and it weighs a good amount. Now, it has just a few adjustments that you can make on it, and that being the rake, really. This blade here is adjustable for depth. Uh, if you want more depth, you screw the device in. That creates the angle with more downward force. It's gonna give you a deeper cut. Or screw it out to get less of a cut. And you've got your disc, that's just supposed to kind of float around like that, and you have, do have a height adjustment on that. Uh, but really, once you set it up the first time, I haven't really had to mess with that. Um, and then over here, where you hook it to your uh, sleeve hitch, you have three mounting positions. And that's so you can offset the plow when you're cutting a new garden plot. And uh, for what I'm going to be doing today, which is actually not doing gardening, I'm going to leave it in the center position. And we'll, we'll get into that here in a minute, what I'm actually going to do with that. But, so, why would you need a moldboard plow? Um, really, it's for starting a new garden. Uh, its main purpose is to turn soil like this where I have grass that's well established has deep root system you can break up uh, grass like this with uh, a tiller or even with a cultivator but you're going to be working your tractor significantly harder or yourself significantly harder to do so the moldboard plow it uses the blade here and digs in underneath that it cuts off the roots and then it turns that soil over and as you make pass after pass you end up with <clears throat> nice deeply cut soil, grass or whatever material you've been uh, in is all tore up and flipped over. And then you can go back with a cultivator, a disc harrow, or a, a garden tiller and finally mince that so it's ready for, for hey, so use. But you've decided you want to purchase one of these things and you've used it to turn the soil in your garden and then it sits because you made your garden plot and you don't need to do that again. Um, well. It doesn't need to collect dust, although they do tend to only get used once or twice a year. But you can use this every fall and every spring to turn your garden over. And what that does is it takes all that vegetable matter that you didn't eat, you know, the leaves or the stems or the stalks, and it rolls that to the bottom of the pile of dirt in your garden. And over the winter uh, in, and early spring, it gets a chance to decompose. So again, you could turn it once in the fall, turn it again in the spring, retill it or use your cultivator, uh, make your new rows and you're ready to go. But this does have some other uses uh, and one of the most important ones that I've found for our property is that you can use it to dig ditches. And uh, around here, we're in the mountains, we get a lot of heavy rainfall. I've had to dig some ditches for drainage and uh, to do that kind of work by hand uh, is, you know, backbreaking as I'm sure you know. This can do that to a depth of, I'd say, you know, around here with the rocks and stuff, about eight inches. And what you end up with is a nice ditch where it just digs you a trench and rolls the dirt over on one side, so you get a high side. You just have to keep that in mind while you're if you're doing it for uh, drainage. Today I've got this hooked up uh, because we're actually going to be digging a trench all the way from the garden to the house to uh, bury water lines, so we have uh, the ability to use uh, water pressure all the way up at the garden instead of trucking our water back and forth like we have the last few years. Now, I'm not going to be using this water in the middle of winter, so I don't need to go to a depth of 18 inches, which this device is not capable of doing. But it will bury it 6 to 8 inches, uh, even with the rocks around here, and that'll be just fine. It'll, it'll roll the dirt over, I'll lay my line in there, and then I'll just have to kind of push it back over and step on it, and I'm done. I mean, it's really simple, as opposed to trying to hand dig a trench uh, to put the line in. So, really effective for that. Now, as you notice, I'm not using my older tractor. I've got the Husqvarna because I still have the, uh, the electric um, sleeve hitch attachment hooked up to it. And the reason I'm using this instead of the older one is that uh, this produces downward force. So I can give this a little more downward pressure to cut as deep or as, as shallow as I want to. And, uh, and it does have posi traction. I can lock the rear diff here. So I get a little extra traction. If I do run into a rock, I can pull it usually with the extra force of having a locking diff so that's it it's a fairly uh, good unit it's this one I bought used uh, when we moved up here I've used it quite a bit since then but again maybe 
three or four times a year if I'm not breaking a new plot in. So uh, it's not something you're just going to be using every day. The good news is they're very uh, inexpensive, less than $200 for one brand new. I think I paid around 100 with free shipping for this one on eBay. So let's go up to the uh, top of the property and we will uh, start digging the trench. All right, so I'm hooked up here. This is about where I'm going to be centered. I'm going to be going about, I don't know, maybe 400 feet down to the house from here. But uh, I'll cut a little spot and we'll take a closer look. entire process. This is just a project that uh, my wife and I are handling today. But uh, as you can see, if you take a look back here, I've got a beautiful trench that's about, oh, it's about eight inches, about eight inches deep, maybe even a little bit longer than that. And, uh, and when I'm done with it, you can see the sod here, it'll just roll back over. So uh, impressive. Now, if I wanted to uh, use this as a rain runoff or as a, a trench that I would leave open, it would just be a matter of coming back with the plow or a rear blade and scraping this off to the side. So really uh, an impressive use of this tool, probably not what it was intended for, but I mean, look at it. It's, it's really useful. I mean, the amount of time it would have taken me just to cover that 30 or 40 feet right there is incredible. I mean, it would have been hours of back and shoveling. So, uh, for that alone, it gets an A-plus in my book as far as uh, usefulness and worthwhile for the money spent. So that's it. I am Eric, owner of Farpoint Farms. If you enjoyed this video on this tractor implement, a Brindley moldboard plow, please check out my other videos where I do reviews of other tractor implements and other tractor accessories and other tractors. So uh, that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you next time.